everybody. Hi everyone. <clears throat> Today we are here at Mozak, powered by SMUD. SMUD is our local municipal utility district, our electric provider, and they're a big sponsor of this. And this is also the Museum of Science and Curiosity. So Mozak means science and curiosity. Yeah. It's great for active learners. Is that what they call it? Hands on. Hands-on learning. Yeah, hands-on learning for both <laughs> kids and adults of all ages. And big kids. Yeah, big kids. <laughs> so we're excited to check this out. Um, it's brand new. It opened in late 2021. It is a STEAM-based educational institution. STEAM means science, technology, engineering, art, and math, as opposed to STEM. And once again, we have Amanda joining us today. So we haven't been here before I since it's brand been. new. Yeah, so Amanda <laughs> is here. So we're all experiencing this together as newbies. Exploring Sacramento <laughs> with the balls. energy challenge part of the museum and so what's surrounding me are a lot of different games and activities where you can learn a little bit more about um, where you can learn a little bit more about you know carbon emissions and how we can reduce them um, and just be better with our energy sources. exhibit so far is a uh, interactive light show about the water of Sacramento uh, California sorry and Sacramento too yeah so it's interactive but like it's very visually appealing and has great information I like this one a lot too yeah it's cool I, the, the hands-free feature is really cool yeah. <laughs> And every kid keeps coming by and tapping it, and it's like, ah! Oh, I'm going to water. The late 18th century, I received natural water. And it has texture. Demand for water. God, it looks like you can touch it. Floor. and on the first floor there was a lot of different things to do specifically um, it's divided up into water versus power um, and kid zone so lots of interactive kid zone and items there was also a forest activity uh, center very cool to kind of hear the different sounds see the different things yeah the water and power is really interesting it's about the environment and the changes with it and it kind of walks you through our demand of water and our demand of power and how the evolution that we are undergoing today. So on to the second floor. Oh. What I really loved about the first floor is like the technological advances of the exhibits was really fascinating, like how they use the touch, yeah, hands-free and then light, yeah, interactive light touch thing. So, look, next destination is space. So I'm really excited about this because I love space stuff. So let's go, check it out. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, her head's in the dome. Her head's in the dome. Did you see anything? We're checking to see if we can catch a show, but I think we're late. The doors are closed. Get closer! Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so this also has a planetarium with our show hours, 11th or on the half hour in the hour. Um, you need to be there before the doors close, but that's a, another feature of the museum. It does talk a lot about the water and the inlet of the water, which we can show that. But again, Sacramento gets its water off of the Sacramento River. Um, and it comes through a pumping station. One of the pumping stations is just on the other side of this building. This originally was built as a backup powerhouse. Um, after they built the Folsom powerhouse in the early 1900s um, uh, by Polk, who was the designer of this, who was from San Francisco, was hired by the city of Sacramento to design this building. And it was originally a coal-fired, then became a gas-fired steam power house. And so it would do steam energy production. And in the early 30s or early 40s, they added a fourth generator, making it the largest power generation facility in Northern California. And it closed in 1952. Um, and uh, then became um, kind of a dilapidated facility. They were going to tear it down to add to I-5. The state bought it and then it sat empty and vandalized and events and seances and all kinds of other things happened in this building over that period of time. And then they got funds to renovate it and turn it into a museum. So it opened last fall. So PG&E handled the Pacific Gas and Electric handled all of the power generation gas and electric for Northern California. They still handle most of it, but in the 50s, Sacramento took its own utility district away and created this SMUD, Sacramento Municipal Utility District, which is a power, our, our own power district for basically Sacramento County and a few little areas around it. So Sacramento SMUD produces electricity from water, gas, from a variety of different systems, and now solar, but this is um, something that SMUD helped fund the redevelopment of this museum. It was a really cool museum. Um, definitely a lot of kids running around, so it'd be great if you have um, younger siblings or children or a family outing that you kind of want to bring the kids on. Or adults um, that never grew up. Yeah, so <laughs> it's great for um, adults just because you get to feel like a kid again. Um, and so, yeah, I also kind of learned a few things that I didn't really have a great grasp on, and so, yeah, it was a really cool experience. I'm glad we came. It is a museum that's very young, and it's a, it's a hands-on museum. It replaces the Discovery Museum, which was out off of Auburn Boulevard. Um, and I think there's an opportunity, and I think they'll continue to grow and develop that museum as things come along. There's space absolutely to do that, and they'll probably change exhibits over time. But it is definitely worth a couple of hours of visiting a local new museum. So I really like these kinds of museums because it's very interactive and you learn as, as you go along. We didn't really spend too much time here. There is, as Amanda mentioned, there is a lot of children and, you know, there's competition for uh, <laughs> every, 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 every activity. activity yeah. Um, but we got to see what they, how the activities work and what you can learn from them. So that was really fun. Definitely want to come back again um, at, when it's maybe not so busy. So we'll see when that is. And yeah, we're going to catch a show. We, we're not catching the show today. We're hungry, so we're going <laughs> to go get something to eat. Probably go back to Fanny Ann's in West Old Sacramento and we'll see how that goes. So thanks for rolling with us. Is rolling with the Pauls, our Sacramento series. <laughs> and we'd love to roll with you again, so please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. So we'll roll with you next time. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>